Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps. Today we will be understanding one of the important concept in Kubernetes, which is Kubernetes deployments. In order to understand better, let us consider one of the analogy where you are a part of development team working on a food delivery app. This app is already released in the market. A customer, let's say a girl, wants to order pizza using this app. She clicks on order now and goes to the payment page. The current version of the app only supports card payments and card payments are working fine in the current version. After completing the payment and after some time, around 30 minutes, the delivery boy delivers the delicious pizza to her and she enjoys the pizza. Remember, in her app, she can also see a list of all the orders she has placed. From this list, she can reorder any item if she wants. Now, your team wants to add a new payment feature like UPI or QR code scanner and this will be released in version 2 of the app. After releasing the version 2, some customers may face problems while using the new payment feature and they are not happy because it did not work as expected. So the team decided to roll back to version 1 which only supports card payments. Meanwhile, they plan to fix the issues in version 2 and release it later when it works properly. How this food delivery app analogy is related to Kubernetes deployments, we will see in just few minutes. Let's come to Kubernetes world. And let's say we have two worker nodes, node 1 and node 2. Now imagine we have a pod. A pod is nothing but a running application or workload. Let's say this application is developed in Python and it supports card payments only. We can call this version 1. When we deploy version 1, these pods will run on node 1 and node 2. After some days, the development team wants to release version 2 which is also developed in Python but now supports QR code payments also. When the team deploys version 2, the pods running version 1 are slowly taken down and replaced by version 2 pods. This process is called rolling update. Rolling update means moving from version 1 to version 2. But if something goes wrong in version 2, for example, QR code payments are not working, then we can go back to version 1. This process is called a rollback. Just like in your food delivery app, you can see the history of your past orders. Even in Kubernetes, we can also see the history of past deployments. Now let us also understand how a deployment manifest file looks like in Kubernetes and go through some important highlights. Since we are talking about deployments, the kind in the manifest file should be written as deployment. Under the spec section, we can also mention the number of replicas. But what does a replica mean? A replica simply means copy of a pod or multiple copies of the same pod. Every pod must run some application. In our example, we will take the Nginx image. To create this deployment, we apply the manifest file using the command kubectl apply hyphen f deployment dot ml. If the replica number is set to three, then three Nginx pods will be running in the cluster. If we change the number to four, then four Nginx pods will be running instead. Now imagine we want to release a new version where instead of Nginx, we want to use HTTPD Apache. To do this, we just modify the image in the manifest file from Nginx to HTTPD. 
when we apply this updated manifest file the kubernetes will replace the nginx pods with http d pods one by one this is how a rolling update happens at this point we have already done two deployments the first one with nginx and the second one with httpd but how do we check them yes we can run this command kubectl rollout history deployment my app hyphen deployment here my app hyphen deployment is the name we gave under the metadata section of the manifest file for deployment this command will show us the deployment history with revision numbers for example revision 1 and revision 2 if something goes wrong and we want to roll back to previous version we can run simply kubectl rollout undo deployment my app hyphen deployment and if we want to roll back to a specific revision we can run kubectl rollout undo deployment my app hyphen deployment hyphen hyphen to revision equal to one that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed the video if you really like this video click on the like button and if you are watching for the first time subscribe to my youtube channel and also please share with your friends as well thank you so much